In this video, we're going to walk through some of the tools for 2D design and just experiment a little bit. Always have one sketch to start, so click on Create Sketch, then choose your plane you want to work with. And let's try the Rectangle tool. And I have an idea in my head. I want to try to create a bull shape with horns and everything like that. So I'm going to just do some basic geometry to make that. I'm going to choose a circle. Notice I'm going to put it up on this dot, and it's going to be sort of linked to that corner of the that vertice of the um, that rectangle. And let's make that 25. Let's put some dimensions on the rectangle. So if you remember, that was D was the shortcut. And let's say I want this dimension to this dimension out here, and that's 50. And let's go D again. Whoops, 50. And then let's go here to here. Whoops. And that's 20, but I want it to be 25. Okay, great. And let's hit escape to get rid of the dimension tool. And then let's say I want, uh, I want to mirror this over. But let's, before I mirror that, it's a little bit round, a little bit square here. So let's use another tool called the spline line. So if, uh, there are two types. You can choose which one suits your work style better. But I like the fit point spline because it allows me to be very consistent with my, or very particular with my curves. So I'm going to start my first point here and just kick, click and curve. And you'll notice that as you're going, the lines uh, keep curving. Um, let's undo, 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 undo. That's Command Z on the Mac, or you can click this backwards point here. And then when you're done, you click on this little green arrow, little green check mark to say, okay, I'm done. So that's gonna be the top of the head. And let's do another one out here, which is gonna be sort of the side of the head coming down into this um, rectangle. And I'm gonna make a curve line for the mouth out here mouth and nose. I guess it's just the nose. Okay, let's say okay. All right, now I've got half, if you can see that, I've got half of a bull's head and two closed shapes and two open shapes. What I'm thinking is like if I had that drawn perfectly on the other side, I'd have a full cow's head here. So we have a, thankfully, we have a tool for that. I'm going to hit escape to get out of this blind line tool. And if you go into create, it's mirror, or by default, it should be in your top set of options. So mirror, click on that. Choose the objects you want to select, you want to mirror. So I want this one. I'm going to hold shift and click all the lines that I want to use. I want these ones. I want to mirror all those ones. Okay. And I don't want to mirror this line. I want to use this one as the mirror line. Um, so I'm going to click mirror line and then select, boom, that one, and say OK. If you ever don't have a line to mirror on, so let's say I'll go back, and I, I wanted to mirror this, but for some reason I wanted to mirror it the other way, and there's no way to mirror it the other way right now, I could simply draw a line to use as my mirror line. So OK. Then I could escape out of the line tool. And I could go to the mirror tool, and I could select everything that I want to mirror, mirror it on this line, and that would be okay. All right, so I'm going to undo that because that's not the way I want to do it. Undo my line one more time. I'm going to select everything, and then deselect my center line. Or I guess a little shorter. I'll get a little confused. So we'll take these ones, these ones, and mirror around this center line. Oops, and I didn't select the bottom one in the end, so if I go back and I hit shift, or I go back to the objects and hit shift and add this one in, that should be okay. And I didn't select that one, put that one in. So eight selected mirror line. Okay. And now notice that the whole thing is a closed object. And I can later work with that as, as a closed object if I want. Alright, so in this video we looked at mirror lines, we learned how to use the spline line, um, and uh, we made a, our first sort of organic shape out of some basic geometry. Give it a go. Good work, guys.